I'm not even sure how to begin to start a video like this talking about something so revolutionary into this field of AI. I woke up today and I went and I checked my Discord, specifically the AI News and Juicy Leaks channel on my Discord server, and I saw a link called Metaverse Text to Video by a user named The Door Brothers on my Discord server. So shout out to them for being the first person to show me this. But obviously everyone in the AI community is hearing about this this new AI that's being released now. And I clicked the link and I was brought to this page and I'm like, oh wow, okay, so we we are going places today. We are going to be seeing some revolutionary technology today. So Meta announces today Make a video. Make a video, they say, is a state-of-the-art AI system that generates videos from text descriptions. So this would be similar to your Dolly 2s, except for making an image, it makes a video. This is incredibly exciting. I've covered some text-to-video on the channel in the past, but we have never before seen anything like this. And in fact, this space is evolving so quickly, it is absolutely blinding. I mean, earlier this year, we had, like, not very good text-to-image that was, like, barely publicly available. And now, coming to the end of this year, we're already getting these video text systems coming alive and coming online into various websites with signups, by the way. This one has a waitlist as well. So we're going to cover all of that. And also Stability AI came out and said that they apparently have a model in the works that's better than this. But that's towards the end of the video. Now we actually do have access to a form of text to video, although it's not nearly as good as what we're talking about today. And I just wanted to mention this. This is COG video. You can use it on replicate.com. It's open source software here on GitHub. And you can see they have a ton of examples here. So yeah, this is similar technology, although this COG video is not nearly as complex as what we're looking at, but it is definitely worth a mention that there are other text-to-video models that are in the works and have technically been released before. And of course, this is released by Meta AI, which is Facebook. Make a video research builds on the recent progress made in text-to-image generation technology built to enable text-to-video generation, which obviously makes sense. It does look like it's very similar technology. The system uses images with descriptions to learn what the world looks like and how it is often described as the classic AI models for image generation that we know of. This one also uses unlabeled videos to learn how the world moves with this data. Make a video lets you bring your imagination to life by generating whimsical, one-of-a-kind videos with just a few words or lines of text. So yeah, you type a prompt in and you get a video out of it. And we've got some nice little examples to mess with as well. I'm going to go ahead and move my head so you guys can see this a little bit better. Bring your imagination to life here. So the first example we can see is a teddy bear painting a portrait. Looking at this, it looks very, very real. The teddy bear moves in an extremely realistic way, and it's definitely painting a completely or almost fully still painting of a teddy bear itself and it's the same type of teddy bear which is interesting to point out the easel looks pretty good it's pretty coherent i would say the hand here that he's painting with is in fact a human hand it tried to blend it into the color of the the teddy bear's fur but uh, at the end of the day it really does just look like someone inside of a teddy bear suit although it is a nice suit but yeah that, that is a human hand there so that's the one thing i mean that's a hurdle for a lot of ais right now is the human hands when they're doing stuff like if you go into stable diffusion and say oh i want a dog doing this sometimes the dog will just have human hands so this is just like an ai machine learning thing in general not just this ai but yeah that is a common theme i've noticed but other than that it is incredibly good and yeah this bear is moving in a realistic way it's it's almost surreal and kind of creepy to be honest we've also got this one of a robot dancing in times square there's a few things i'd like to point out about this little video here we can see the robot is dancing around in a pretty realistic way it looks pretty decent times square the lights are you know flashing pretty quickly yeah i mean that's times square lights right it's also important to note that the ai is able to understand that these people moving in the background of this dancing robot are just sort of walking around. They're all slowly and consistently moving. But yeah, this does look like it's a pretty complex prompt for this AI to understand, and I think it did a pretty darn good job 
for what it is. I mean, this is incredible technology right now. We're, this is already really good. Like, considering what we where we were at at the beginning of this year, coming to the end of this year to see stuff like this, it is mind-blowing. So here with the, the cat with the TV remote in hand, we can see the cat is incredibly still here. His face is barely moving. But yeah, he does seem to be holding a remote. The remote shifts a little bit as he moves it around. But yeah, we've got that human hand there again, which is quite creepy to be honest, but the rest of the cat looks pretty halfway decent for a full text to video. This one was incredibly impressive to me. I really like this generation. This is a fluffy baby sloth with an orange knitted hat, which he does have, trying to figure out a laptop, close up, highly detailed studio lighting, screen reflecting in his eye. We definitely can see the screen reflecting in his eye. He's wearing that orange knitted hat, which is awesome to see. He looks, I guess, a little bit confused. He's definitely working on a computer. I mean, that much is obvious. And the studio lighting, I would say, yeah, it's there. Does he look much like a sloth? He kind of looks like an alien. That's what I first noticed. But yeah, I mean, sort of does look like a sloth. This is easily my favorite generation that we have gotten out of make a video so far. There's more to come, though, which I'll talk about soon. But yeah, this is very impressive to me. Definitely looks like he's trying to like figure out a computer. He does look like he's a puppet though. That's, that's one thing to notice about all of these is they've sort of got like this weird puppet movement going on. It doesn't look fully perfect yet. They don't really move with like the correct physics as of right now, but I am sure things are going to improve in the future. Now we've got some realistic prompts. This is where it gets pretty crazy because these are just basically indistinguishable from actual videos. Right here, we've got an artist's brush painting on a canvas close up. When we observe this image, I mean, yeah, there's some background blur there, which you would expect from like this close up photo, this close up angle. And he's definitely painting with the brush and the paint does move around as he moves the brush there. This is basically indistinguishable or close to indistinguishable from a actual video that someone might have taken. If you didn't know what you were looking for at first glance, you might be like, oh, that's just a video of someone painting. Next, we've got a clownfish swimming through the coral reef. This one also came out pretty fantastic. Again, we've got a nice background blur here. Different, very similar looking fish in the background as well. So it was able to pick up on the fact that there might be other clownfish nearby. This does look like the natural clownfish habitat as well in the background. Clownfish definitely shifts around quite a bit. It's not very consistent. When he slows down there, it doesn't look so bad. But when his body shifts over to the other side here, you can see he just kind of transforms and morphs and alien out. He, turn, he looks like a freaking alien when he does that. But otherwise, like, yeah, this is pretty complex little imagery uh, for this. And I'm sure, you know, with the advancements in the future, this is going to get better. But yeah, this still very, very impressive here. This one is pretty shocking as well. This one almost looks real. This is a young couple walking in a heavy rain. So they sort of step through and they're just walking. The rain looks pretty good. Yeah, I would say the rain's almost perfect. The, the trees in the environment also look very fantastic as well. You know, there's no weirdness going on. It just looks like a road, you know, some lampposts or whatever and some trees. The couple also looks really good as well as the umbrella. I mean, stuff is morphing a little bit, but you can see the clothing moving, especially on this guy's back here. That looks pretty good. That looks like clo how clothing would look as it tightens and stretches across someone's back as they're walking. It is very impressive. And also, obviously, the lighting effects here with the rain look very good. That's definitely a wet ground. This one is incredibly impressive, I think. Horse drinking water. This one's also really, really good. You can see the water moving around as it would if the horse was sucking it up. And yeah, you can see the little nuances in the horse's mouth, especially over here in his jawline as he's gulping up and drinking the water. The background isn't changing very much, which is something that the COG video, for example, struggled with. The advancements here and the improvements are 100% realized, I think, with this new paper that Meta has released. So we've also got some stylized stuff here. Hyper-realistic spaceship landing on Mars. It looks, you know, halfway decent. Definitely a spaceship landing on some alien planet or perhaps the desert. Definitely got the Martian-looking terrain, but not too much is going on. You know, the spaceship is just landing. This one's all right. What's interesting about this is how slow and how barely they're moving in the first place because we used oil painting in the prompt here. This was an oil painting of a couple in formal evening wear going home, get caught in a heavy downpour with umbrellas. And it seems like it really doesn't want the image to move too much because it's supposed to be an oil painting, uh, which is very interesting to point out. 
This one I loved as well. This was one of the first ones I looked at. This is just simply, there's a table by a window with sunlight streaming through illuminating a pile of books. What's really cool is that Meta's AI here, their video, make a video, has picked out some creative liberties here and take them like a slow pan up from the books and this nice uh, serene book environment with the sunlight illuminating them. And it looks very cool and it sort of made its own cinema-like camera angle, which is really, really awesome. And next, we've got a pretty horrifying one. This is an emoji of a baby panda wearing a red hat, blue gloves, green shirt, and blue pants. And it's just some multicolored tie-dye, creepy panda dancing thing. This is terrifying, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, he's sort of dancing, and he's pretty consistent. It gets some points for that, at least. Next up, this is extremely exciting. They're showing off something similar to what we would call maybe variations in Dolly, for example, or image to image with stable diffusion. From static to magic, add motion to a single image that you get to choose and upload or fill in the line between motions of two images. So we've got this painting of some people on a boat here and it incredibly, by the way, is able to take this image and just bring it to life. The waves are crashing exactly how you would expect the the mast or not the mast, whatever they call it. The sails are flowing in the wind of the ship. The people aren't really moving too much on the ship, but the waves here are really what's impressive. And you can sort of see the ship move away as if it was really taken like a video moving away. It, it, this is incredible stuff. It's just so impressive how well the physics work with the waves and how easily it's able to just pick up on those little nuances and bring them to life. So we've also got this woman doing yoga. It was able to pick up on that as well as the sun flare, which is it has put in the middle of this woman's body. But you can see she's very slowly stretching here which is nice. And we've also got this nice little image of a turtle. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's definitely bringing this turtle right to life. He is moving exactly how you would expect him to move. And yeah, this is just so impressive. It's able to just take your videos and bring them to life fully. So like, oh man, I wish that moment I captured was a video. Well, now it can be brought to life. Or now you can take an image that you had and completely change the context of it and make something happen out of an image. There, there's just so many possibilities to get into. It is it is just a long, long list. But yeah, super cool. You can also take two different images and mush them together. So it starts out as this image and then gets to this image. So it's going to take these two images and then infer what happens in between them, which is really cool to see. So maybe if you wanted to bring some old photos to life, you absolutely could. If you have like a bunch of them similar to this, for example, you know, it's bringing this family back to life from the images that were captured, or, you know, it can do really cool, interesting, abstract stuff like this, for example. And we see pretty similar stuff to this with Stable Diffusion. There's a few different Stable Diffusion collabs and on Replicate.com as well that are kind of similar to this, but it's nowhere near as advanced or as smooth as what we are looking at right now. Also, we do have just straight up variations of a video that you submitted. So, this is a submitted input video of a spaceman, obviously, above the Earth, and it inferred what is going on with this video and has created its very own replications of it, and four of them at that. And yeah, they are pretty similar, and it was able to pick up on the nuances here as to what's going on in the image. It definitely dancing around, got the right colors, although I don't think the physics are exactly perfect and right there yet. The bunny one, though, came out very, very well. We just have this little input video of some bunnies munching on some grass. And yeah, we've got four variations here of three bunnies. So it got numbers right. It can count. And they're definitely all munching and eating on some grass. And it came out very awesome, I think. And it is just mind-blowing technology. It's mind-blowing that we're already coming this close and that the competition's already dissing this somehow. I, I, I personally think this is amazing. I am so hyped for the future of technology. Anyways, that is the end of this little demo that they have going on here. So you could read the research paper. I'll link this website down below. Obviously, if you're interested in trying make a video, they say, let us know if you're interested in gaining access to any future releases of our make a video research. And you'll be able to click this button here and sign up and fill out a little form, you know, very similar to the Dolly 2 waitlist, which I recommend you guys do so you can get access to this if you really want access. But of course, I've already signed up. Hopefully, I get access to this at some point in the future so I can make videos testing it out for you guys. Twitter was a buzz this morning as well as 
Emad, the CEO of Stability AI, which is the creator of Stable Diffusion, the open source text image model, already has been, I, I guess you could call this a diss maybe towards this, but anyways, of course this release this morning, he's like, something quite fun is that Stability AI is the only independent entity that can credibly say that we will output a better model than this. So apparently text to video is already in the works for Stability AI and that they are coming out and they are going to apparently beat what Meta has released. And he says, plus folks might actually get to use it, but I don't know. I mean, we've got a wait list here on the make a video thing. I, I believe that Meta AI will release this to the public at some point in the future. We'll get that to that in a second. I've got a little bit more evidence for that. But he says, lots of work continues by the team growing every day. So yeah, they plan on releasing a better model in the future than what we're seeing today, apparently. So the competition's already fierce. And of course, Competition is good for consumers. It's good for us people that want to mess around and create new art and play around with these awesome, incredible technologies. So yeah, this is all very good news, but the battle's already on. So finally, I want to end with this. This is Meta AI's tweet here about the release, of course, of this AI, and they show off some examples here. They did say, have an idea you want to see? Reply with your prompt using hashtag Meta AI, and we'll share more results. I actually forgot to do that. We'll go here and we'll do hashtag meta AI. Anyways, hopefully they're able to see this. Of course, my prompt idea was 3D render, lemon character, wearing sunglasses on the beach, sipping a drink. So I want to see this lemon guy sipping back and enjoying a drinks. And uh, this guy <laughs> replied to me, of course. Yeah, that's, that's to be expected. I'm going to ask for that. But anyways, yeah, they seem to be ready to like generate images for other people, which is something Dolly 2 did when it was first announced. So maybe we can expect to see a similar timeline to Dolly 2 where people are going to start getting access to this thing and really being able to use it. I mean, they're, they say they're going to start generating stuff for other people. They really seem like they want to release this uh, towards the public and show this off to the public, which is a good sign, I think, in my opinion. And yes, people have been commenting a bunch of different ideas. But yeah, this is pretty much how I'm feeling at the moment uh, with the future Squidward doing that. Basically what I did when I got up in the this morning, but it is getting pretty crazy. So yeah, I'm very excited for this technology. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know if you're going to sign up for this. Yeah, the future is now, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I am Matt's Video Productions, and I will see you guys in another one. Get subscribed if you haven't already. Check out the Discord. Check out some of my other videos. Peace.